looking for cool. A single number, given a non-empty array of integers, every other, uh, every element appears twice except one, find that single one. Your algorithm should have a linear running time, or one time complexity, could you implement it without using any extra memory? Uh, and then you have just inputs. So I think for this, uh, let me um, yeah, so th this, the, the cool way of doing it that everyone always say is, um, is using uh, a bitwise operator called EXO. Uh, and you could do some, but like, it has no, like I want to say that like, uh, most reasonable interviews nowadays won't like ask you this question, though I think it used to be more popular when I was younger. But, uh, but nowadays it's just like a brain teaser or a twister. And also, it has lost its effectiveness because enough people have seen it, so like it doesn't show anything. Right? It's just like, hey, do you know this trivia? Almost. Um, I think if you have to implement it without knowing anything, and you're gonna whack your brain without the extra memory, without knowing the XOR trick, XOR trick, uh, just put in a hash table and then just you know go through it. Right? That's it is what it is. But uh, but yeah, but the XOR trick is something like, you know. I think I wonder if you could do map XOR or something like that. But. Uh, well, yeah, just start with a variable and then for number in nums. So I, I, I'm like in my shortest. I, I had to change between the clash of codes, so I'm just pointing there. Oh, they don't have to copy and paste example thing here. Maybe maybe later. Uh, and then there you go. I mean, I, so that's the kind of the XOR trick. Well, I guess a lot of people. Are, a lot of people are on this website right now, so it's why I think it's a lot. But, but the idea here is, uh, uh, and uh, I guess you can explain it fine. I mean, look, um, so XOR is a bitwise operation, and what, what a bitwise operation means is that uh, you break a, a number, or I guess data in general, uh, if you want to be general, uh, you have like a binary number, uh, and an XOR will look at our bitwise operator will operate on each of these bits independently of each other. Um, so and and because of that, uh, because every digit is independent, you can actually just analyze uh, each digit by itself, right? Uh, so you don't have to actually look at all these digits. You can just look at each digit by itself. So so we could just look at each digit one at a time, saying the same thing like the same time XOR. Oh, that's a pretty cool way of doing it. For example, X. <laughs> Oh, funk tools that reduce. I'm always trying to figure out how to do reduce because I'm essentially doing reduce, but I guess I only generally need to do reduce when I'm doing code cough, so maybe that's why it doesn't come up that much. Um, but and then you have to like import funk tools and stuff like that. But uh, but yeah, when you look at digit at a time, well, uh, so XO has this truth table of of someone like uh, now I'm drawing ASCII truth tables. And also, I drew it well. <laughs> uh, so ex uh, XOR or exclusive OR has this ASCII truth table of basically if the, if the two digits are different, you return a 1, and if they're the same, you return a 0. And what happens here is that on a bit-by-bit -bit basis, uh, if you look at every bit, all these input numbers uh, will just have be just like a lot of, you know, a lot of a uh, lot of ones and zeros as they're only binary numbers, and you look at only one bit. That's just the last bit, for example, right? Uh, in that case, um, well, you could say that if they match, then they get zeroed out, right? So let's say you match the zeros, okay, they get zeroed out. You match the zeros, they get zeroed out. You match this zero and this zero, okay, match ones. Um, you match the ones and so forth, oh, and, and then actually there's a zero. That means on this bit, all the numbers match, um, and that means that uh, the number that is unique, right? Uh, they all XOR to zero. Um, yeah, uh, and that's pretty much the logic. I'm probably explaining this a little bit poorly. I'm doing it off the cuff. I'm not. This is not a researched uh, thing. So, because I don't know the problem, 
but but that's the idea uh and it's very brain teasery i don't know why they choose this as the first poem because it's it's like either you know it or you don't uh with respect to the extra memory point anyway because you can easily do this with a hash table just looking it up right and that's i feel like that's okay yeah all right cool that's all i have i think for this part